Welcome to our IAS webinar. This first in the series will be a brief overview of anti-aging. We will be regularly branching out into more specific topics that have been recommended by you in the coming weeks and months. So what is anti-aging? It is often a misconception that the anti-aging movement is made up of a bunch of crazy scientists trying to figure out how to extend human lifespan to enable us all to live forever or aesthetically making us look physically younger. Whilst there is an element of truth behind this misconception, and yes, in our 30 years of researching anti-aging, we have experienced our fair share of crazy scientists. However, there is incredible research and studies that continues to identify ways that we can extend our lifespan with the potential to unlock the secrets to living indefinitely. What has been identified is aging is extremely complicated, caused by many different complex biological processes. A few key ones that we will endeavor to tell you about, as well as the published research showing how to slow some of these processes down. However, before we can achieve the goal of living longer, we need to improve the quality of life in our older ages by optimizing our health span. Health span and lifespan need to go hand in hand. Your lifespan is how long you will live for and your health span is how long you will remain healthy and hopefully without any major illness or diseases caused by the aging process. In this webinar, we will give you an introduction to what research has shown are the main biological factors that cause our bodies to age and how we can all start our journey to slow down the aging process and more importantly, improve our health span. So what is lifespan and what is health span? We are living longer than ever before, due in part to advances in medical science to prevent and treat diseases, which can be seen as a positive benefit. But unfortunately, many of us are spending a great deal of our elderly years suffering with age-related diseases, illnesses, and ailments such as dementia, arthritis, cancer, heart disease, etc. Because mainstream science and medicine advancements have historically focused on the increase in lifespan by effectively patching us up. By treating our aging ailments as we age, effectively widening the gap between lifespan and health span resulting in a longer, lower quality of life in our twilight years for many of us. The ultimate goal for many doctors, scientists and healthcare professionals in the anti-aging movement is to optimise our health span and close the gap for a better quality of life for us all to enjoy a healthy old age. This graph shows how life expectancy has changed since the 1950s. As you can see, each five years life expectancy is growing with the year 2020 being the highest, oldest lifespan to date. Figure one shows that the average lifespan in the USA is 79 years old, yet the average health span is only 63 years. This means that on average, the last 16 years of lifespan are spent suffering with age-related conditions. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could all live to full health until the day our time is up, without the fear of dementia, arthritis or heart disease? This is the objective of much of the research going on in the anti-aging movement. By addressing how we can improve our health span with prevention rather than treatment, will by virtue go a long way towards increasing our lifespans too. Whilst a healthy lifestyle, good diet and exercise, although not too much exercise, are hugely important, in this presentation we are taking these as a given and will focus on introducing you to the anti-aging science. So how long should we live for? Did you know that our bodies have the natural biological capability already built in to live to around 120 years old? and that on a cellular level, our bodies typically function at around 58% operating capacity, keeping 42% held in reserve. Did you also know that there are natural products backed by 40 years of proven science with the capability to unlock these valuable reserves? Don't worry if you're not aware. 
as we will introduce you to these natural marvels later on. So what actually causes our bodies to age? Most people assume our bodies just wear out and slow with age, just like a machine. However, this is not really the case. The biological ageing process is extremely complex and caused by a group of many cellular processes and cell regeneration. A few of the main factors that have been identified are cells in our bodies are constantly being replenished. Different types of cells have varying lifespans. For example, white blood cells live for approximately 13 days, whereas red blood cells live for approximately 120 days. Skin cells can live for approximately 30 days, and liver cells can live for approximately 540 days. Our bodies constantly produce new cells by cell replication, where our cells divide into exact copy of themselves, copying over its chromosomes. Unfortunately, each time a cell is replicated, it affects a vital part of our DNA strands called telomeres. Telomeres are effectively caps on the end of our DNA strands that keep the strands together, often likened to the plastic strips you find on the end of your shoelaces. Every time a cell divides, the new cell has slightly shorter telomeres. It is widely believed that the shortening of the telomeres limits the number of times a cell can divide. When the telomere get too small, they cannot hold the DNA strands together any longer, and we experience a DNA double strand break, which subsequently produces a senescent cell. A senescent cell is effectively a zombie cell. Every cell in our body has an expiration date. Typically, cells contain a protein that triggers a suicide switch. However, senescent cells lack this protein, meaning they don't know when or how to die, and they stay in a zombie state. Senescent cells' other zombie characteristics is that they become extremely toxic and are harmful to all surrounding healthy cells. The effects of the damaged zombie cells caused to surrounding cells are linked to age-related diseases such as kidney failure and diabetes. In studies on how to destroy senescent cells and how this would affect our bodies, scientists genetically engineered mice with the ability to destroy senescent cells by injecting them with the suicide switch protein that senescent cells lack, resulting in 80% of the senescent cells being killed off. The older mice were considerably healthier, with better heart and kidney function, as well as being more active and regrowing lost hair. These mice were also found to be less prone to cancer, living up to 30% longer than the average mice. So what can we do to remove zombie cells? The good news is that our own immune systems will fight to eliminate different types of senescent cells. However, as we age, this process slows down and it is not as efficient or effective. Our bodies have what is known as a natural killer cell to kill senescent cells, producing cytokines, which are peptides and cell signaling proteins, which activate macrophage within our bodies to clear the senescent cells. There haven't been any large human trials on eliminating senescent cells. Although key anti-aging researchers are currently looking into human trials using senolytics, for example, FOX04 related peptides, as well as a combination of quercetin and desertinib, to name a few. There is also exciting research underway in how to extend telomeres using natural products. One such product, TA65, is a formulation based on the astragalus herb. The other one to watch closely is a peptide bioregulator called endolutin, a pineal gland peptide that can be found in the Nature's Marvels bioregulator range. Free radicals and oxidants. Free radical and oxidants have dual functioning effect on our bodies, being beneficial as well as toxic. They are produced by normal cell metabolism as well as from external sources such as pollutants, radiation as well as medication. 
One such natural process within our bodies that causes free radicals is via our mitochondria. Mitochondria are organelles within our cells whose function is to produce the chemical energy with ATP, otherwise known as endonicine triphosphate, which is the fuel that our cells require to function and survive. Mitochondria have their own DNA that is separate from the DNA of chromosomes. Whilst converting oxygen, food, fats and nutrients into ATP, the mitochondria can accidentally produce free radicals. Free radicals are beneficial to our bodies at low levels, as they are necessary to enable cells to mature and assist our body's immune function in fighting disease by destroying invading pathogens. At higher levels though, our bodies can experience an overload of free radicals that are too overwhelming for our body to naturally destroy, resulting in our bodies experiencing oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is a harmful process causing significant damage to the cell membranes, structures and proteins, impairing the cell function and becoming toxic, resulting in oxidative stress playing a major part in the development of chronic and degenerative illnesses such as cancer, autoimmune disorders, cataracts, rheumatoid arthritis, cardiovascular and neurodegenerative diseases as well as ageing. Look out for free radical scavengers and antioxidants such as ACF228 and CAN-C. Humans are very complex organisms. We are made up of a trillion of cells within their own unique function. Scientists have estimated that the average human body is made up of 30 trillion cells. Our bodies are like machines. We are constantly replenishing and rebuilding old cells into new. As we age, this process becomes disjointed and more difficult. We regenerate slower and can't produce the quantities needed. One of these parts is NAD+, a natural coenzyme found in all living mammals that every cell in your body utilises to regenerate and maintain a healthy cellular metabolism. It also allows our cells to reproduce by receiving the energy they need to perform essential functions. Your NAD levels have direct links to the ageing process as we get older. Our NAD levels naturally decrease regardless of your state of health. For example, at age 50, you will have around half of the amount of NAD in your body that you had when you were 20 years of age. There have been multiple studies and trials on mice that have shown once their NAD levels are raised, this promoted the regeneration of brain, skin and muscle stem cells. The mice were more likely to be able to repair their DNA and also had a slightly increased lifespan. What can increasing your NAD plus levels do? It enhances cognitive health, controls aging through the regulation of genes, boosts physical and mental energy, enhances efficiency of mitochondria, optimizes a healthier metabolism, encourages healthier levels of blood sugar, and promotes insulin sensitivity. NAD Plus is a serious contender when it comes to anti-aging. Peptide bioregulators. Peptides are described by scientists as nature's gene switches that can replace stem cells. Bioregulators are a unique nutritional supplement they were originally developed by the Russian military to optimise the health, strength and fitness of their soldiers. The bioregulators are effectively gene switches that optimise specific organs and parts of the body to work at their optimum levels. Tide bioregulators are unique in that they unlock the reserves that your body naturally holds back. Your body typically keeps 42% in reserve, ensuring that your body is working at its most optimal level and performance. Bioregulators are intelligent in the sense that you can't overdose. If the body part or gland you're taking them for is already at optimum levels, the bioregulator will lay dormant until needed again. There are no reported side effects either. Peptide bioregulators such as Nature's Marvels are truly fascinating with incredible benefits and properties. We don't have enough time to dive deep enough in this episode, 
but we will have a peptide exclusive episode coming soon. We exhibit and lecture at many events and conferences worldwide. IAS also sponsor dedicated organisations in the battle for biological age control, such as RADFEST, SENS and the Age Reversal Network. If you use IAS by virtue, you support and further the research of this important information and vital research. Other products that are worth a mention, we will feature later. We don't have enough time in this episode to go into detail they deserve, but the following topics will be featured later in the series. Bioidentical hormones, nootropics, peptides, nutraceuticals, rapamycin, metformin, dacetinib. If there are any products or topics that you are interested in or want to know more about before our next episode, please get in touch with us today. We're happy to help. You can email us at feedback at antiaging-systems.com. Contact us for more information on products and resources. We have over a thousand reference articles, interviews and videos. Many are produced by well-known professionals in the field. Aging Matters is the online version of the popular IAS Members Magazine, bringing you all the up-to-date anti-aging news, research and products. You can view all articles and download past issues from here for free. Our YouTube channel is available here to watch at your leisure. Thank you for watching. Please give us feedback and send us any questions.